Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we went to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's... Crane. Person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit! Crane's been... Uh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's, it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Bigby! Wait. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her, but... What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Hey, Lark! Just how are you? That. Long time no see. Happy New Year to you, too. Ah, gotcha. If you're here, then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted. I actually, I mean, if I'm being beautiful. honest with you, I thought that you didn't want to talk to me anymore because I know that you're still friends with Cal. So I was like, well, maybe she just doesn't want to be my friend anymore because I, uh, I hadn't heard from you, you in a while. By so. claiming one day, but I'm glad you're here. That the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it, it will never subside. But I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain as well. 
I'm sorry, Snow, but we have to leave. Not right now. No, you don't understand. I'm sorry, everyone. I don't get the fuck out of here. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here. I didn't here. throw his sister, her after sister down the witching lie, well. After you promise me? What? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Holly. Oh, nice. Well, I hope you have a good time way, tonight. And I'm sure. Yeah, we have our reasons. Reason it is what it is. Here. But I mean, I still want to be friends with him. you. So I'm glad. Um, Why you how's the new job? Anyway? And don't say it's because you care about. Because you got a new job, right? You left your other okay? one because they were giving you a hard time. I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else. What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I I know, but this isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. I'm not... we're not certain yet. I shouldn't have even brought it up. Oh, fuck off. Don't backpedal now. I don't care if you're not certain yet. Just say what you know. Okay, everyone, just stop. Big B and I are going to have a little Have fun tonight. Tell Harley I said hello. What? I'm not just gonna sit here Please, and- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. I just want to get Lily's killer, Holly. Nothing more. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Okay, you think you know who the killer is. What have you got? Bigby? Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was... you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I thought... I thought that Crane might be here. Out of some twisted respect or something. I don't know. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um... No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? Yeah. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa! Yeah, um... Uh, coming! Kong 
Constable. Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? Now is really not the time for whatever you jerk-offs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird. Hey, told us Luke, your how are you? Long time no see. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation, is all. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yeah, yes to this me. is uh, I'm gonna do Always a stream today. To I'm streaming daily now, way. but I'm gonna go Ladies, a little bit later today just so I can finish this because I think we're gonna either Rest start easy. Avengers or um, going Twin Mirror What's on happening? Monday. Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. <laughs> What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You mm. think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, Yeah, Ali. I stream Monday just through Friday from 5.30 to 8.30. And then, um, with this. Saturdays Ali, and Sundays usually 2 to 6. Yeah, let's but spare because tomorrow's a holiday. It's and I just moved to Tennessee. Hole. I'm in Chattanooga I'm now. I'm you. not in Florida anymore. Um, I still got some unpacking to do, and I got some other stuff I gotta take care of, so I'm gonna take the Saturday and Sunday off, um, this week. I got it, um... die because we're fables, so. How's things been with you? I don't think I've talked to you for a long time. I love it. It's so much better than Florida. Um, my car insurance alone is $2,500 a year cheaper, so. Um, my rent went down almost $400 a month. The weather's been good. It's been weird. It's very bipolar. It's like 40 one day and 70 the next. Like this week, all week, it's been in the high 60s, low 70s, and then this weekend's supposed to be in the 70s, and then Monday it's gonna be in the 40s again. So, but I like it. I'm really happy with my house, and um, Cheddar seems happy here. Yeah, I just moved in November 20th, I was here. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. I can't take it easy. I have to... <sighs> I have to find Crane. Bigby? What's wrong? Lack of sleep for one thing. Getting shot for another. He'll be fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent Yeah, home. I don't really go out unless Holly I have to. Holly refused to let me see where she lived. So I left the whole her COVID thing. I mean, I'm vaccinated and I got my booster shot November 
Just 19th, remember what I, I said. The um, stitches will hold vaxxed. up if you continue I've to I've been add, lucky, knock on wood, not like to get COVID. Do. But it's like, I just don't... Look, I don't I'm put myself in situations anymore. Situations. Like, I'm not a partier anyway. You know me, I'm old. Deal with them. <laughs> I'd rather stay home what and read or watch TV or watch movies or play video games. So, And I got fiber now. Business I'm so office. excited. I have one I gig I'll up and down fiber for $67 a month. I was paying 320 a month in Florida out. for one gig down well, and 40 megabits per second up. Miss White, Big B. That's why I started streaming again. I got a stable in it. So, to recap. The only thing I'm not thrilled with with Chattanooga or Tennessee, well, I should say Chattanooga, because there's the possibility so of tornadoes. To go after. Um, usually it's not Chattanooga that gets them, it's like Brainerd, the but rafters. Chattanooga got one about cover it? Easter of 2019 or 2020, together, so. It'll be easy to catch Crane. And apparently so, they don't have a good um, alert plan, system. Currently. So, that's um, the plan. I bought myself one of those NOAA it's weather radios right that has now. the same code thing what that you put in. It tells like your exact location or whatever, and Just, it has like a, an alarm thing that beeps and tells you what's going on. So. Them. I don't know if I mean this. I got a basement, so that's good. Crazy, but in case something really happens. think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. Mm -hmm. A liar. Big time coward. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Yeah. Time well, I'm glad you didn't get COVID. Eventually. I've been lucky. At least I hope I've so. I've been working from home for since sake. April of 2020, I think. So. Can I um, ask you a question? I go to the office once in a while. It's like, it's still personal. being renovated and stuff, but I go in for. And I don't want to offend you. Why? What's on your mind? I just try to limit it's my just, exposure. When stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city. I haven't city, traveled really or anything. I've gone to, I went to Universal for Halloween like Horror me. Nights and this past I've year. I've heard it said. Because it wasn't in 2020, they did it this year. Some it was really good. I had a really good time. Way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to... Fuck no, I don't enjoy it. Are you kidding me? It's horrible what happened tonight. I wish it didn't happen. I did the RIP I tour again this anything. year. The, like Forget I did in 2019, so no waiting in lines. Um, uh, guys? We got we have like, free problem. food and what is drinks and stuff. Yeah, it was good. It's I had a really good time. What do you mean, missing a piece? Well, yes, it's... Uh... Buffkin, are you positive it's not here? Maybe it just slid under one of these cabinets. No, I'm sure it's not here. I checked every corner. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's I just not figured it was kind of like true. my last hurrah what? for a little while Ruffkin? because I was leaving what? Florida the we following month. We sit around month, and so. wait until it mends itself. We have no idea how long that it will take. It was worth it. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. <laughs> we can still solve this ourselves. Oh, nice. I know never that mind that. Come help me look. They just um, changed their mask requirements again, I heard. Um, they were doing masks it required indoors now, so... I don't know what's going to happen between now and then. When I Hi, went, they Mr. weren't requiring Bacon. it. I can still help you catch Crane, It was re you know. re um, oh, recommended, yeah. but yes. not required. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault. 
All right. Y you mean it? Yeah. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. They were. They were pretty good. I was kind of a little disappointed, though, because um, we figured out after we were done that we actually Buffkin skipped says one. That he overheard Crane like, call some. Our, our guide this left. year was. Well, last year. Sounds like, like he's going to no, see it was a witch. Year, um, was new. His witch. So, like, it was his first he's time, and he just kind of fucked really? up and we forgot to scare his own. None so. of the 13th floor witches would allow that. Other than that, thing. it was good. We had a good time. It must be somewhere in the city. And Jack was cool. It's something at least. And the house of the, uh, the past no, um, icons and stuff, stuff was awesome. That was probably one of my favorites. That, that and the puppet there. theater one was really good too. It's all right. I mean, it wasn't a huge deal. I mean, we're exhausted by the end of the time anyway. Jack was awesome. Yeah, he's awesome. Pinocchio's skin is splintering. Mr. Toad. Did Crane ever do any work? Only when Cole was around. Yeah, they had all the icons too. It was like the, um, the director and... Um, the storyteller, their um, chants, they were all in the house. It was really, really cool. And some of the scare zones, like the director was one of There's the scare a page zones. Here that was torn out. Mm. Oh yeah, Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. Hey, Twisted, how are you? Is going to see. Hopefully, the camera looks better yeah, today. I, I messed with it a bunch today and thing. I fixed some settings. Why I figured out kind of what was wrong with it, so hopefully, it looks no one better. Asked me. Buffkin. And I'm hung up. I ordered I'm another sorry. light, too. It won't be here till like Tuesday or Wednesday, the but I want to light the green screen Tonight. a little more because I think that's what's, what what's part of it on? is. But I think I fixed most of it. It was the gamma setting. This isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. I'm he doing all right. Chatter's been throwing up all over the house today because he keeps fucking messing with the Christmas him. tree. And now it's none of my I gotta business? take the tree down tomorrow. You don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch yeah, and he's it's just to being acquire an a magic ring. What's the ring? He's like obsessed with the tree. Or who it's and it's got flocking on it, and he keeps like chewing on it, and then this he spits the pieces out, and I think the stuff's making him sick. He's fine otherwise, but he's just Put fucking you asshole. In charge in the first so I gotta take it down. I might take it down tonight. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Yeah, he's I'm fine. heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. I had a thing under the tree that like sprayed compressed air so. at him when he would get well, too close, but he's gone close to it so many times that it's empty. So now he's like, oh, I can go under there now. It's not going to scare the shit out of me. All right, let's just look I gotta on the stock up side. for next year. We know Crane is going to see the witch yeah. that's been supplying him black He's just glamour. obsessed with Thanks it. I don't know what it is. And he's like chewed the tips off of the branches too. on the bottom. So like a little fucking asshole. 
few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't Twisted, matter are you doing anything for New know. Year's or are you staying After home? tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. So I'm thinking then about I'll playing the, the Avengers lock. after this. Um, I got it through Microsoft, and I, I know that we've been doing like story-driven games, alone, but um, right? I have no interest in nicking oh, drinks, snacks and wine. That's See, I don't concerns drink. But what concerns me is I hope you, you enjoy it. Possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Bluebeard, you're not going anywhere. Really now? And what? You gonna stand yeah, here I'm and home babysit tomorrow me? and Sunday. The rest of I got. I want to try to get the rest of the stuff unpacked. We have to find the witch. I got some stuff to put together and where he's going. clean some oh, stuff out. I got a bunch of cardboard boxes. I got to take to work anywhere. and dump in the dumpster. And upstairs right so now, I want to try to get that done. I got my new TV last week, and so I put the. There's a 70 inch in the living room now, and I took the 65, and I took the other one off the wall in the bedroom, which was like a 52. And I I'll put the 65 the on the wall in the like bedroom. That was a bitch. It was fucking heavy. He's and uh, so I got the I nice big TV in there now. The and I'm going to really take the one that was in the bedroom, the 52, and I'm going to put it on the wall uh, here in the office. Go, so in case I want to hook the PlayStation up to it. Yeah, I got stuff I want to do. My shoulder is amazing. Um, Gary's, my boss's wife, uh, worked for me. I worked on me, I should so say. I went to go see that orthopedic surgeon. He was like, oh, you you know, you messed up your rotator cuff and you got frozen shoulder and all this stuff. And he wanted me to go to physical therapy. Uh, and you know, my boss's wife has that clinic like, where she works on like know, some kind of special muscular much. like massage or whatever. And um, the witch's identity. she must worked be on me and this, like one of the other girls worked on me for first. like two or three months, like a couple times a week, once or twice a week. I'll check. And I can, it feels like it never happened. I hope you know what you're doing. I was worried about that when I was putting the TV up on the wall because that shit was heavy. I'm trying to lift it over my head because it's it's wall mounted and it's it's high up. So I was like, Gary's like, oh, I can send somebody over, but it would have been like a week. And you know me, like I, if I want to do something, I want it done now. So <laughs> she's asleep, you fucking idiot. I need to talk to Holly. Yeah, it's a hundred percent better. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Just what in the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. In fact, I'm, I'm getting in old. A good goddamn mood. So you should take advantage. I turned 45 this year. I'm an old lady. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm, I have a fairly athletic build. I mean, I played I a lot of sports and stuff in high school. Anybody else want to drink? Um, Friend, but it's just, you know, you now it's like if I sleep I the wrong way, my neck hurts for like a week. Guy says, or what you say. I have that special purple pillow that's like flat so I don't like hurt my neck because I'm like a Friend, scrunchy side really? sleeper. You shouldn't drink right now. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. Ever since I got that pillow, I've been much better. Her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. <laughs> and he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, Happy birthday. Oh, here you go. Certainly did. Happy birthday! 
I haven't felt this good. They in did a long actually. Time, um, the one of the guys and that was in the stream last no, night, I, the, the Mike. Um, there's a time they actually are coming out with the second one. Minute, um, right? I think it comes out in like February we'll get or March. To whatever you're here for. I'll show you guys the trailer when I'm done. Because I just watched it before I started the stream. That funeral back there. That was a shitty fucking send off. I know, right? Okay, lady. I'm excited. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? Right now, I couldn't give a shit what you think. No? No. no. Well, I can tell. Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. Doctor recommended after, brand. We'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. I'm running out of time, Gren. Oh, you're good. Gren, That's my friend Luke. I've, I've known him rest. for... How many times you God, how long have we known each other now? Ten years? It, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back. I said I was sorry. A lot of drama right? in those years. I can't years. <laughs> do anything about it. It's done. <laughs> what more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, it's been a while. I heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. Ooh, what fun that's that must up. have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. Yeah, I'm so drama-free now. It's oh god, you know I'm sorry. I feel bad for that. And probably some of the same people are still oh, in there yeah, being fucking now retards. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low being life. such a losers. I, don't know why I never realized it. Married now. and trying to what fuck do you around. Think about this fucking loser, sheriff. He can think whatever he wants. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk. But when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh, wait, I have questions. Oh, God. When you saw Lily, did she ever mention Packing's going to be in there in his witch? 80s, still trying to get no. it up. We didn't talk about work. All right. Peaches is going to be, what, she in her 90s now with her saggy quarter sock filled tube sock titties? Getting naked on cam? Nobody wants to see that. Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. <laughs> Fucking two empty, Sleep worn out walkers and tube trolls. socks filled with quarters just That's hanging down to their knees. The Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. I know Not the only sure. reason she didn't like me was because she was jealous of what me. And that's that's her fucking day. problem. I could care less. That and she felt like I could. I just did whatever I wanted. So, whatever I did, and I'll continue to do so. I don't argue with people oh. anymore, though. You want to tell me one plus one is five? You're absolutely fucking right. Have a great day. Thanks for dropping that knowledge on me.
There's a new show on, uh, on, and I did, I know, I totally did. Uh, I was like, I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want, I don't give a shit what you say, you can try to ban me all you want, I'm not gonna do shit. Woody. Uh, Woody. No, uh, um, it's me, Big B. There's a show Big that B. came on Netflix Eyes today. Closed. It's and from like, excuse me. It's dubbed in like Chinese or I'm Korean or something like that. Mood for entertaining. It looks really but good. What the fuck? I know you're not gonna something leave. Something side of the moon you or do soft side of the want. moon or something you to see. I can't remember. Hold on, I'll want. tell you what it is. It looked really good. Oh, hang on, I gotta make choices. Do you even give a shit? The, about I, the us? Witcher, I didn't tell you to fuck the off. Strays. <laughs> the ones that aren't in that fancy high rise. You may not believe this, but yeah, I care about everyone who came. Oh, Yellowstone, yeah, I, I, I gotta get into it. I haven't sheriff. had time yet. I watched um, your friends with your The friends. Witcher season two, which you was really good. Friends. And then I have uh, Discovery Channel, and I like I know they're not like real because they're just super cheesy. But the Ghost Adventures show, every single season is on, so I've just kind of like put that on the background while I'm doing stuff in the house, and I just watch it. Why do you even come? And here? I've been watching other people's Twitch, uh, Twitch streams and stuff too since I started streaming again. I came to say I was sorry, Holly, for the funeral and everything that's happened. I know. No. I love Beth. I've seen a lot. I watch a lot of TikTok, so I've seen a lot of this stuff on there. Beth Dutton. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? I'm doing this for Lily. She deserves whatever justice I can get her. I'll take it. Oh yeah, it's a Twitch thing. I can't control it, unfortunately. Once you hit affiliate, they're just like, oh, we're gonna make some money off of you. These has to be the witch. But. Which one? Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? I don't want to pick up. Snow? Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book with her contacts. I was watching somebody's just... stream like not a week sure or two ago, and it was like eight though. ads in a row. I was like, I'm not Strange. watching this anymore. These people keep cropping up. Hey, did you know that the woodsman was sleeping with Lily? Like a, what, a, a customer? Yeah. Okay, is this really important right now? Yes. I guess not. You should try going up to Crane's place. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Or you could try at the Tweedle's office. Just make it quick. We don't have a lot of time. I'll head over to Crane's apartment, see what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. Yeah, I remember when you used to have um, Amazon Prime, okay. which gave you Twitch Prime, which it still does. Find him. But um, if you had Amazon Prime, you could, you didn't have to watch ads. Like, it, we used ad free viewing. And then I think in October of 2020, it stopped. Because they're making a ton of money on ad revenue now. Bluebeard burned everything. Why was he burning stuff? Yeah. Well, you I actually. Tried to stop him, but I, got I mean, too late. not like you want to spend any more money, but. Why don't listen to me? Um, Threaten to strangle me. I, I actually just close. subscribed to I Twitch. It's called Twitch Turbo. It's eight ninety nine a month, so it's like nine bucks a month. Um, and you have no ads on any stream, so. Plus, the reason I did it for me was that, but 
so as a Twitch affiliate, I get to save my stuff on Twitch for 14 days. It saves my stuff for 14 days. With Twitch Turbo, it gives me 60 days. So it gives me more storage. And there were some other things that I get to, but those are the two big ones for me. No ads and longer storage. If there was something here. I, I could still use stream on Twitch and then them. upload to YouTube. There isn't now. But because YouTube will save it Waste forever. Fucking time. But at least now it'll stay what on now? Twitch for a little longer. Did you find any information about the witch at the trip trap? Just this. And I, I get YouTube is, premium start. for free because I'm a YouTube office. partner well, with Scale try. Labs. So Scale Labs gave me free YouTube premium, so I have no ads there. And then I also have this thing called Epidemic Sound, which is a bunch good of royalty-free music, and they have really good music. But it's like that alone is thirty-six ninety-nine a month for the um, Epidemic Sound subscription. So it's worth it for me to stay on YouTube, even though I don't stream or do anything on there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Flycatcher. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> right? <laughs> I think I've lost count. Yeah, this company called Scale Labs you know, approached praying, me. Uh, let me go. Four or five years ago? Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's when I was yeah, streaming I mean, on Twitch. I mean, on YouTube. And, um, so they said, hey, do you want to... I mean, Do you want to become a partner? And I was like, Are you here to okay. see one of the brothers? Have you seen a witch come by? Um, I don't know. Sometimes. Really? But who is she? Do you know where she lives? Uh, I don't know her I name. I mean, I'm not really making anything off YouTube really. anyway, she so. She just sometimes drops stuff off. You know, brothers. even if I make a couple dollars a month or whatever, I'm getting free YouTube myself. premium and free scale up, so I'm getting more out of it it's than they're been, getting out of me. Uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. No problem. I still have a bunch of subscribers, or a bunch of I'm followers on YouTube, but around. I don't really do anything there. Like uh, I said, I'll stream here and then I'll well, upload I, it. I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. <laughs> I wasn't asking right. for permission. You're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Don't worry. I won't get you in trouble, right? Right. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. What's that about? They do have their quirks. I have, actually, and... I lost a lot of followers because I stopped streaming for like a year, year and a half. But I figured I merely kind of missed it. I missed hanging out with everybody and, you know, everything. So Dear brother D, I've been doing I good. I usually get like one or two during Some each stream. So dumb. I know tonight's going to be quiet because a lot of people are out for uh, <sighs> New Year's. But pointless. I wanted to finish this I, game I tonight. can come off so. abrasive at times, but they aren't and so bad once you get to know them. Saturday and Sunday. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times. How do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way Dee explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? You mean for people other than the witch? Oh yeah, all kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. No, because they're scumbags. You know about this? Uh, no. Aw, you're very sweet. Yeah, I don't want to be out in public. I'm sure you have your reasons, but... It's just the, I like staying so home when I can. I got so much shit to do here anyway, so. Is there anything else in here? I think that's it. Oh, there's a fine cab filing cabinet. Let's see if they've got a file on a crane. Crane. Beauty. Let's see what they got on beauty. The 
This is worse than I thought. Holy shit, she borrowed a lot of money. Shit. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How is he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Crane hired them to look for a photo? Why did he want it back so badly? So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. I haven't found anything yet. I'm just saying. Oh, God, look, I forgot about Patty. Trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Who's Brannigan? Detective Brannigan? Hmm. Keep an eye on her. Oh, yeah, that's the lady that was interviewing me. Find anything? Not what I need. What, what, if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but... Let's get one thing straight. They are nothing yeah. like me. Same here. I miss they going on cruises and shit. stuff. Miss There's traveling. Here. I, know I am kind of looking forward to being to able be. to explore Tennessee, Why though, when it gets warmer, because like in the spring. Okay, fly catcher. Um, That's right. I want to go to, like, Dollywood, and I want to go to, like, Pigeon Forge and they Gatlinburg shot at Snow and White. Smoky Mountains. And... Bigby, what happened to your... You want to know what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't know. Holly and Grin both got injured. Snow White nearly got her head blown off. Do you get it now? <sighs> Dollywood's a hell of a lot cheaper than uh, Disney I, and Universal. I, I didn't mean to... I haven't been to Disney in a couple of years. I stopped behind this file um, restoring my I don't know uh, what annual pass here, or renewing it, I should say. It might be what you're looking for. Oh, that's pretty. Aspen, Colorado. Well, that key you found should work. Yeah, I didn't really go anywhere this year. I went to Universal a couple times before Halloween Horror Nights, I think like three or four times, because I knew it was the last year I was going to have my pass. It expired in December, like the first week of December, so I called and canceled it. So I went like a couple times just to pay for the pass, and then I went for Halloween Horror Nights, but I knew I was going to wow. move, so I didn't travel. I was trying to save up money for my move. Hold for BCW. <laughs> what are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Yeah, the I, I'm sure it is. Or the I've heard Colorado's really pretty. Something. JD. This doesn't really tell us much. Butcher. It's all the stuff they're using to blackmail people. What is this stuff? Crooked man. I'm sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. 
Ichabod Crane. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the Lucky Pawn. You know what that is? I'm taking it. Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. Yeah. But the mountains were really pretty. That was a big thing getting used to here was the mountains, because Florida's so flat. Crooked man? For your collection. What is that? No idea. Pretty sure it's something they aren't supposed to have. This isn't the witch, though. I don't think there's anything else. I think that's it. I already did the scale. There's nothing to look at. Hey, Bigby. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the Woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but... Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the Woodlands. Really? That would be... Thank you. Come by the business office. Fuck oh, Crane. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. He's a kinky little bastard. Oh, is that Snow's hair? It's Snow's hair. Snow White? Why... W we found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Auntie Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess Dee and Dumb were getting the hair from Absolutely. Crane Have a great uh, New Year's Eve. That's Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week. Auntie Greenleaf. A.G. This is it. Call the business office. Tell Snow I'm heading to this address. Have her meet me there. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Thank you, Luke. I appreciate it. Have a great night. Have a great weekend. Happy New Year, and I'll see you next week. If anyone's in see there, you Monday. they're being awfully quiet. Hello? Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so... I'm Big B. This is Snow. Hey, Michael, how are you? Pleased Welcome to meet to the you. Stream. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, <laughs> that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there something you want? Snow, can you just do something here? I, I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <sighs> Do you Is mind Christmas? if my friend here takes a look Happy around? New Year to you too. I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. I just watched the uh, announcement trailer for the second one right before the stream, so I'm really glad you told me about it. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. 
Okay, Snow, I'm gonna trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. <laughs> no accounting for taste. That your mom? Uh huh. No one's been over all night, so. Is your mom a hunter? Oh no, she never. That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. Honky tonk, I know, right? How we like it. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. I don't trust you. I don't trust any of you. Where do you buy your clothes? At a store. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. The Butcher. What's that? A package having to do with someone called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedles' office. Those damn Tweedles. Nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? I saw a sp mm, I hear something Damn, bubbling. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Oh, there is it is. Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. you don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I'm not going to break it. I just want to open it. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! you got to believe it's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get in trouble. There she is. It hurts when you do it that fast. Why Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. I'm good enough for you. Certainly kept you two off the scent for a while. A short while. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. Please, Green, just help us catch Crane. That's all we care about. It's not all we care about. Yes, it is. Snow. Shut up, Snow. I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You it have hurts friends, when you do it that fast. Don't you? If you're not protecting Crane, who are you protecting? Get this through both of your skulls. I can't tell you. Just you being here is bad enough. There's powers that work beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. 
You have no idea what's going Hopefully on. the cam looks better today. Okay. I finally you know figured out kind of what was I wrong with it, so with hopefully it looks this better than yesterday because it was like really blurry yesterday. That continue to undermine everything and the built. colors were like really she's washed out. A fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. I'm if learning a lot about green screens life, and at least cameras sure and lighting. <laughs> so settings. We're destroying the tree. No! Hell yeah, we are. How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could Don't go? give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. Snow, it's too much. We can't ruin this woman's life over this. Ruin this woman's life? It's a slap on the wrist compared to what she's done. Bigby? This is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girls' speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. The damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Snow, do you really want to kill this tree from Fable Town? Or do you want me to burn it because you're pissed off at Crane for what he did? To they you? stole my hair from my apartment, Big B. So, yeah, I'm pissed, but I still know what's best for this town. I don't think you do. We're not burning the tree, Snow. All right, let's go. Hey, Greenleaf. Don't think this is over. I won't. Oh, back at the pudding and pie again. No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss a spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Where's Crane? Ichabod Crane? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Can't just go in there. Watch me. We have a problem. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. Mr. Crane, please. She can't help. I know you know what the plan is. I won't be held accountable for this. Crane, get away from her. I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. These girls, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. They can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all. Please. I'm innocent. Completely, completely innocent. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must. I, I went to you. <laughs> He's so Daniel, pathetic. On, please. Tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. <laughs> How many years? What? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. 
but I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just, oh God. We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know, that's, that was, I just, I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and, and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? The hairspray says that sexy I didn't hair. I'm sorry I on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. I know, he's such a creepy little perv. She's like, look at me in my face, you creepy pervert. Maybe? I don't think he did it. What? I don't think he did look it either. At him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not. He wouldn't be brave enough. We've been chasing this guy. Just why now? Because look at him. He's on his on his knees you said on the you floor. You found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. This fuck up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't. Uh, yes. Okay. He probably does. But there's the a little difference sticker on the wall says "Call five 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 party." And the guy who did it. Okay. But if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so- You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you. So He's gonna go whack off to her, like, shaming him later. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest He's got for a humiliation the misappropriation fetish. of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses. You are extraordinarily Lucky Miss White was here to save your ass. Because if it was up to me, I'd have your head swinging from the Washington Bridge. Okay, Sheriff, that's enough. This can't be. I don't have a Snow White again, fetish, so again. don't talk Even to me like you're that. You like acting without constraint. You have to respect this office, Bigby, and you have to respect me as its leader. No, I don't. Starting now. You think She's like a you dominatrix, have man. To run the uh, office. Uh, 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 you think I didn't make sacrifices? Look I who we got. Sacrifices. Who is it? And you won't be in that chair one who minute before you have to get <laughs> Hi, handsome. Just so the wheels don't Hi. fall. Hi. God damn it. Cute boy. I did the best I doing? could with what You're I had. Throwing up all over the house because you keep eating the goddamn Christmas tree, huh? Me. If I Fucker. Something back in yeah. Then so be it. I have no. Better save your energy. Shut then. up! You're going away for Shut a long up. time. What are you doing? You stinky bastard boy. Yes. Oh, don't hate little buddy him. He's been fucking puking all over my house. The Christmas tree feta she's got. Yeah, I'm kink shaming you on my street. Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Yeah, I pushed him in a puddle. Stupid girls and preposterous schemes. What are you saying? I'm telling you. Good thing, you know, I'm playing this game. I mean, you know, I know all about the fetishes. Look at my screen name. Oh, 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 oh. Shit. I mean, I took you to the Eden Club in Detroit Become Human. Now we're kink shame and Ichabod Crane. I think it's the Crooked Man, if I remember correctly. Oh, it's the Tweedles. Oh, yeah, I remember her. What you got there? Hmm. 
Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. <laughs> Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> oh. Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mondays call me? Wh what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody Mary. Bloody Ma Mary, that's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? He's because hiding them, behind a woman. It's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. Oh. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf. To relax. This was really the wrong day to try and pull this shit. I told you he'd never just give him up. Fuck it. I am gonna slaughter these fucking tweedles. Bigby? Mm. Here I come. Oh, you boys are in for a treat. I am pushing up. Why is it not letting me? Pushing up, it's not letting me do anything. They're, they're out of bullets already. I'm a sexy bitch. Beatles, man. They've tried to kill me how many times now? Fuck them. I've been nice so far. I'm done. Snow, fuck off. You were just punching Ichabod's crane. I don't want to hear about it. Just didn't know when to end. She's got the woodsman's axe. You know, you wouldn't think silver bullets would work on anything but a pure werewolf. But as it turns out, it's just Come on! I can't I'm pushing it, I'm right, pushing Wolfie. it, I'm pushing it. I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, I can't push it any faster. Really, guys. I'm mashing, I'm mashing. 
Can you argue with these results? Oh, this bitch. Because I know I can't. Wait! Stop! Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yes! Get out of here! There's the cricket man. It's your lucky day, kid. The cricket man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach in? Oh, and just between us girls, Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Nope, not like your boyfriend. Ow! Oh, this is be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really. Out with the old, in with the new, long with the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. Oh, at least I killed a Tweedle. All right, we're finishing this game tonight, so we're going to keep going. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not going to tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. When people hear what you did to Dom, they're going to think you've gone back to your old ways. Well, he tried to kill me three times. Don't hold so out on me, em. Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. And again, you don't have much choice at this point, do you? afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? I mean, look how they were shooting me. Of course I ripped his throat out. He's been trying to kill me since the beginning. <laughs> show but you know just take him okay take crane 
Well, this is going to be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. We can't keep meeting this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. My arm? <laughs> yes, very ugly. But not life-threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. Please, Bigby, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his You're life. You're a little busy moment. right now. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Fuck it, let's do it. Fractured, it's positively broken. I hit the right button, what the fuck? I know, right? There we go. Hmm. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. Doubtful. I don't know about that. Well, he should. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but you're standing it'd in my be light. Better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please, I could do this with my optic nerve severed. <laughs> we'll be done in a moment. Just please give us the time. Well, there goes my good hey, chair. Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. <laughs> Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me, and, well, this time, this time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White, you'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. Yeah, he's all patched up. His body Fable will seal quickly eventually too, give but out. She shot him with a silver Take bullet, so... Please. Silver... He's basically a werewolf, so... He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin. Swiney? Colin.
Yeah. Well, I mean, look at the beginning. The woodsman took an axe to the back of the head. And he's still alive. So. How do you, um, feel? Uh, how it's do I look? It's Big Beast, Snow. He'll be okay. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. <laughs> you had us. <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, She's got um, the hots for me. It kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. You were really worried about me. Yeah, you were really <laughs> fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. He's gonna get what Crane Colin. couldn't. <laughs> I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? Here's the thing I don't understand. And who should I be asking? The crooked man. So, Bloody Mary, Rain the has the hots for snow. This is bigger than like the real I snow. So he was like having, you know, people glamour yeah. to look like her so he could have sex with them or whatever. For a reason. But why did he treat the real so snow like absolute that. garbage? He either feels like if you like somebody, you don't treat them like that. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying. That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? Of course I'm pissed, but what's done is done. Okay, okay. All I, I guess, right but like he never tried. I don't think. I mean, you can't the crooked man treat people like this. garbage and expect him to have the hots for you. So he had to pretend, yeah. Shark, but clearly, well, and I think too he was a little kinky. So I think I don't think he could have gotten her right? to do what he was trying Getting to do. Out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. This is about those girls, and it'll always be about those girls. Nothing will change that. We'll see. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, yeah. starting now? Well, he was we like acting out some weird kinky fable fetish. Book, like, you know, the story of Snow White. He was like, he wanted somebody snow. to eat the apple and lay on the bed I'm of flowers and pretend sure to be not. unconscious. And I, I don't know if you this saw the picture, if you were paying attention. Monsters. He had his hand what up her skirt. Last night, which I thought you was really into? strange, but whatever. It can't happen. He probably couldn't even get it up. We need monsters to fight monsters. I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but I think it's important. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. He'll Colin get the gets job me. done. He's Just my spirit let him animal. Do it. I'm going to... Look at this boy. I'm going to let you do it. Look at him. Okay? It's just He's that... He's passed out. Now that I'm deputy chair. mayor, I need your respect. Look at him. And this situation lazy has ass to motherfucker. end. What situation? All unglamoured fables oh, starting today have to go sleep and, and puke. stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? That's not gonna happen. 
Yes, it will. No, it's, it's not. It's impossible rule to enforce, no. You really expect to round up every talking like that. She likes to watch coffee brew. Town. There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. It's my apartment. The pig Wolf's stays. Residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Found Thanks. a piece of the mirror. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. Colin stays. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Nah, you Consider look good the with discussion blood splatter. tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? No. I mean, she seemed real serious about it. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. What, that he pukes? No, it's not normal, but he keeps fucking with the Christmas tree, and he keeps eating the ends off the branches, and he spits them out on the floor, but there's flocking on the branches, and I think he's, like, getting it in his mouth, and he's, you know, not swallowing the branches, but he's getting the chemical in his mouth, and then he starts puking all over the house. So, I gotta take the tree down either tonight or tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. I just gotta keep him away from it. <laughs> Asshole. I'm trying to make my life more difficult. Cheddar. Cheddar. Treats. My treats? Oh. Look at that. His head snapped up. I said, You want treats? Where's treats? You want some treats? Oh, he's making biscuits. Oh, sleepy boy. You don't get treats when you're an asshole, huh? Cheddar. Yeah, he knows that word. He knows that word, doesn't he? Yeah, he's a smart boy. <laughs> Stinky little bastard. Hi, Sheriff. Yeah, he's a little fucker. Hi, Narissa. And I actually put stuff under the tree to deter him from it, and it ran out of, Have it's like a compressed air thing that's motion activated. So anytime, he hates that compressed air. Like if you try to clean off your keyboard or whatever, he hates it. So they make this thing called the scat or whatever and you put it under and it's motion activated so it sprays out like a har um, harmless compressed air when they get too close so that's been under I, the tree since um, i put it up well it's empty okay? so now he's figured out that it's empty it didn't look good last night i wasn't sure um be. so be he's like oh it's not yes, working anymore i, I can go the into there and create havoc <laughs> and i know that that's the case because i keep finding ends of branches all over the floor huff and puffs not many people smoke those. Oh, he's a little, he's very smart. He's too smart for his own good. He's on allergy medication, right? So I keep his pills. They're like individually Thanks. wrapped. So what is and it they're in a gallon Ziploc bag above my I sink. I know what you did for him. He knows Sending the noise the of me arms. opening the bag and taking one of the pills out yeah. to open it, and he'll run There's and hide under the bed. That I can talk about. He hates those fucking pills, you but it's the only thing that's keeping so him that spell from breaking out everywhere. Break. But he's fucking Not smart. Just while you're at work, huh? What I mean. So I have to like run the water, or like time. start the microwave, or do something that like covers the noise, because he just knows head. what it is. Because once he gets under the bed or he hides, it's pie. really hard to get I him out. I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just... Yeah, he is. Go ahead. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, 
I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I- He's the most exp expensive free I cat I've ever owned. Friends. To help me find my way. We tried all the allergy now, tests and stuff at the vet and all the medication gone. and the visits. And, and I don't know what to do. It's just expensive. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. Aww. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. It's that ribbon around her neck. It's a spell. I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. Yeah. It's the ribbon. The vet said it's harder to take care of cat allergies than dog allergies because there's a bunch of different medications you can give to dogs. Cats physiology is different so there's only like two or three options and two of them won't work for him because he's you know above 20 pounds he's 23.3 pounds big fucking boy um you so if i just no his lips are sealed what you can't just stay back you can't do that slow down it's all right i'm not gonna do anything please don't. My choices are grayed out now. I don't know why it's not showing. Okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Came here. That's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? Of course. I could be in a lot of trouble. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Yeah, I just gotta find a way to get that ribbon. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Didn't she Please go and change us. and her outfit is exactly the same? I might have a new lead for you. like the only outfit I don't she know owns. How solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Oh, wait, you don't have to go. Yes, I do. We're getting that there. That was... Piece by piece. Uh, abrupt? It's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? Nothing. I didn't mean to rush her out. She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay, then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Well, whatever it is, I'm sure they called for a reason. Suppose I better go check it Narissa out. Narissa just told me to go there too, so... Hmm. Yeah, it's like she... No, that's it, but it's like she must that. like that pattern and that cut of this outfit. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do and... And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. 
Pigby. She went to the Crooked Man. You don't man. think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? Who else that would she explain go to? why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? So this this week I have of Christmas and stuff, it's to. been in the 60s and 70s here in Tennessee. And then Monday, it's supposed to be a high of 40 with a low of 29. And then one day, it's supposed to be like 32 with a low of 17. So interesting hey, weather we're having. Tell me what you were into either. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. Oh, what do you want? Well, I'm sorry. Were you expecting someone else? No, that was... forget it. What do you want, Vic? You called me. Listen, I've had a shitty night. You think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I... So have you, Vigby. Oh my Yet god, with Beast, all the fuck off. And secrets, somehow I'm still this the is not about you, this. you fucking drama queen. I had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Are you gonna let me in or what? God, he's such so self-involved. It's your pal, Bigby. Because he just thinks everything's Hi, about him, it's Please not. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him. None of your business. Stop being a freaking nosy him. Nelly. The way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Hmm. Do you Talk about living in the past. Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. But we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. I don't have all day. Oh, thanks for letting us finish our conversation. Bite me. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Just yeah, because you're doing a bang-up job I of it so far. Here, and I want to see if he can help us out. They're giving why me a headache. Like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that Crooked Bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. Yeah, exactly. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, mm -hmm. okay? We couldn't just give that we up. Never I can't shop at Walmart. Like I have to shop at Target. We had nowhere else to turn. And we Beauty got shops in over at Whole Foods. Heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Are you going to answer it, or are we just going to stand here and look at each other? Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Um, let me They're just, like uh, influencers. A day at the beach? 
Hey, a I'm not done here. <laughs> I should... And we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> they're like, possible. like influencers. That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message. Oh, it's the butcher. Time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you would have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his one way or another. I think it's the butcher. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. Wait. Who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Well, no, there's only one Tweedle. dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there, maybe I can make enough noise. That the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... It's not about her. You know that butcher shop? The cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. The baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. It never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She gets under my skin, you know. I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to Sing make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. No, probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Hmm. I feel like I want to go to the butcher shop. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is going to spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. 
Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. They are what such scumbags. Say? Can you help us out? I don't go around fixing debts. Lucky for you, what I am going to do might just fix it anyway. Just keep us in mind. Can we get free mm -hmm. shit? I'm sure you'll do the right thing. You took out the money. It's your responsibility, not mine. Welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? <clears throat> um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. It New just York all strip. looks like sausages. Uh, oh, I can have yep, some wild herbs. boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin. I know Bloody Mary hangs around here. I want to talk to her. I... Uh, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You don't find anything else. We just, uh... We do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. This fucker. Shit. supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Huh? How you doing? <laughs> Please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby. How you doing? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please. Please don't kill me. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> What the fuck are you hiding back there? You, you, you're a monster. Mm -hmm. A fucking monster. Why are you doing this? I'm not part of their crew. Fuck. The Crooked Man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. You want to talk about the real butcher? It's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. 
All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker the one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. It's all right. I believe you. Calm down. Mm -hmm. I knew this would happen. Didn't know what. Is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. They'd still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? You're not off the fucking hook yet, Butcher. If I find something, if I so much as smell something that makes me think you're lying, So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours, other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Hang on one second, I gotta send a text message real quick. Oops. Maybe just don't touch anything back here. Please? What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. like math or something. Shit. Is everybody on here? Do you know anything about this? I, I, I don't know. A lot of fables out there need a lot of things. That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the Crooked Man's, uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never used that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Chains? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables, getting magic from him. Business is booming. 
He's got all he needs. The gear. And slave labor to work it. So these must be the raw materials. I wonder he needs so much. Oh yeah? Why? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. The things that must have gone on here. I get my hands on that crooked bastard. I'm gonna make him pay for all this. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. Mm -hmm. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey, hold on. I told you what I knew. And look what you did to me. You're just as fucked up as they are. You really still are. The big bad wolf. Is this what you do? You just go around ruining Fable's lives, tormenting people? You should have just stayed home, spent the day chain smoking. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. There's no way to get out of this. You leave me like this, I'm dead. Where am I supposed to go? Jersey, don't, don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna... My fucking Jack, system. what the fuck is going on? But you I'm uh, the guy who just makes gonna... Sure. I'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order. You know. And that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it. So get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you later. Hey, what's going on here? Yeah, Ichabod took hell. a piece of the mirror. This fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? So it it's not complete here. yet. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. <clears throat> Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Hey, back off and settle down. Oh, what the fuck are you gonna do? Back off, dog. I just want what's mine. My axe. You talk big. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Ooh, Still, right in my so wound. Are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. This ain't gonna go like... Ah! You fucking mother... Oh, motherfucker! Oh. Ah. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. <laughs> Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. Watch, he's gonna be like, you can have him. <laughs> Kick 
knocked him across the place. I'm mashing. Hey, asshole. I found her. Oh. Oh shit, sorry. So oh, oh shit, shit. Fuck. I was trying to answer a text message. Oh fuck. God damn it, she made me die. I gotta replay from the checkpoint. I'm trying to fucking. My landlord didn't send me my fucking security deposit. Then she sent it to the wrong address. Now she's telling me she resent it and it's lost in the mail. And I just tracked it. She still has the wrong fucking address on it. She's just like dumb as a box of fucking rocks. I swear to God. Hey asshole! I found her. Missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. No clue about who is really running this town. Where's the crooked man? How can I find him? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. Just go on. Get Crane's shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. No time More for money. traveler's checks, huh? Take it. You won't be needing this anymore. There's the mirror it's shard. The shard. Finally. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you could do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, 
It's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can roar, smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Because he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Out of smoke? We have our history, but, you know, trying to be not an asshole. Thanks. Shitty brand. You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. <laughs> Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah. Damn right it is. All right, go do it then. Hey, Woody. Yeah? What are you gonna do now? We all got our roles to play, Wolf. I'll see ya. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. The crooked man has something on everybody. It wasn't just beauty and the loan. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. And he's got fables enslaved at the butcher shop, making black market magic. This is worse than we could have imagined. But that's over now, because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Why the hell did you burn Crane's stuff, huh? And don't bullshit me. Buffkin was there. I know it was you. Given Ichabod's obsession with Miss White, I thought it best to make sure that nothing uh, untoward saw the light of day. Oh, fuck off. I know you were burning evidence. Then tell me, what evidence did I burn? I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be sure that we're gonna have a long fucking talk about this when I'm done. I do so enjoy our talks. I'll wait with bated breath. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? 
Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. I had a front row seat to a pretty gnarly brawl at the Lucky Pond. When I found it, it was still in Crane's coat. The last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the Mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fabletown. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So, just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you, and you can't deny that. My car, Total, the gaping mall in my wall, any of us sound familiar? I've written up a bill if you'd like to see it. I'm not looking for a handout. Here, Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Mm -hmm. Use it to get glamour, Toad. You got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. <laughs> He's so happy. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Well, did you or didn't you? Fine, we'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. What would make a person do that? What could those girls have done? Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. He's probably still waking up a little. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. What? 
just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. How is that? That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Perhaps I can be of assistance? <clears throat> mirror, mirror, keep us sane. Show the door to Crooked Man's domain. I can always count on you, Buffkin. I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. door. It moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. This what are you even like I don't even know what you're showing me. Dumb. I don't care if it gets out of hand. You don't let it come to that. I know that emotions can run high. And you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. But we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. it all right Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. You'd think I'd have outgrown that centuries ago. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. But I get it. You're not here on a social call. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. I don't need you to hold my hand. I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. <laughs> I thought it was a joke, actually. I guess they're all gonna be a, a problem. Do, but you gotta ask yourself. No, I think I think he this um he's really like okay with Big B now. Whatever I mean, they had their issues before, but he I mean, he doesn't treat me like some I don't know broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job. Sorry. And I'm lucky I'm to have fighting with somebody via text. I've got. Just my old landlord's just mind, such maybe? a piece of shit. She really is. She's such a scumbag. Other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. Don't you realize She's you're just not a liar just and just an absolute door. piece of trash. Work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty. Too. I mean, I have her saved it's in my so phone bad. as cunt. So, so, I mean, that goes to show you're you. Fucking blind, Tim. He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? 
A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office, but he's there. She's one we of those people you. that talk but shit about other people, too. but then what goes and hangs out with them. Is a like war. she hated all the neighbors and told hey, me all Sheriff, kinds of shit about the up. neighbors, but then she'd be like over at his house, over at their house, trying to Thanks. play nice and yeah. she's such a fucking asshole. She's like, she wanted a mattress that I had that I was gonna replace. And she's like, leave it. And then she's like, well, I took, I took it out of your security deposit because you left stuff behind. I'm like, I mean, you mean the stuff that you took? Okay, whatever. She's a fucking piece of shit. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. Bloody hell! This fucking guy! Why is she here? I was wondering when you turned up. The crooked man. I'm sorry, sir. He, he wouldn't let it's me. It's all right, Tim. I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job. But you did fine. You can go now. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. All right, you got me here. Let's talk. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop. I'd to like to know who she stood, is, though. Like Bloody Mary. I don't think she's like really like Bloody death. Mary, because she'd be coming through our mirror. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. <clears throat> Alright, I think this is the last episode. Yeah, she's something. I think five is the last episode, so. Yep, I think it is. It might be the last one. Let me see how many I mean, episodes there are. Your eyes and the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Yeah, there's five, so this is the last one. Holly's sister, Lily. Do you even give a shit? Yeah, this about is the us? end. <laughs> the strays. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon. I just feel bad it? for these girls with the ribbons. They can't say anything, and they try to take them off. The their head like explodes. They're, no, they get decapitated. We're not burning the tree snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Oh, God, Bigby! This Still time a was bullet. no joke. 
Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit. But yeah, the first girl, Faith, when her head was heart, on the stoop, the she had one of those ribbons around her neck. Morgue. And I don't know if she took it off. I don't think she did because she would have. That would have killed her. Somebody must have tried man. to take it off of her. Make sure you bring him That's back why the girl alive. freaked out when he she was in my office trying. when I went to try to take the ribbon. And she was like, don't touch it, don't touch it. What happens is they take. It keeps the secrets. Like the ribbon makes it so that they can't talk or tell anybody what's going on. So if you take it off, their head. Like, they get decapitated, like, immediately. So that's why she was like, don't touch it. That's why she freaked out so bad when I tried to take it off her neck. Yeah, it's like, um, so because it's, like, fables and stuff, there's, like, they call them glamours, so... That's why he keeps telling Frog to go get a glamour. So, because if a, a Mundy is what they call regular people, if a Mundy sees a frog walking around talking, they're gonna fucking, you know, they're all gonna die because, you know, they realize fables are real. So, what they have is they have witches that do what's called glamours that make them look like people. So, and apparently, you know, they're really expensive. You've come along. So, way. some of them can't afford them because Crane has been stealing money from the, the fables, tired. basically, because he's supposed to help them. You know, once they came through, and settled here in the Monday world, they were, you know, they're supposed to be giving them money to, like, live and all this other stuff, and Crane's been stealing all the money, so none of them have enough money for glamours, and they're right. living in, like, shitty yeah, slums, and recently. so, Crane's a fucking piece of shit. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really a carpaccio. And so this guy the is the crooked man. Sirloin. Because I'm they couldn't get the money reason. from Crane through the regular means, food. they all went to really? him, who he's been loaning yeah. everybody money, and everybody owes him money. And so he's been doing all kinds of back alley shit in the butcher he's shop and all this Mr. other Wolf stuff with all these guest, people and I have that every are unsavory. So don't waste the So half of Fable Town owes this fucking douchebag money. Jersey. So he's like a lone well, shark, Sheriff, I guess. And he's killing for the people. Sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It's a mixture of it people. Would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You're destroying this town. You've been doing it for ages. Destroying this town? What on earth do you mean? What the hell do you think I mean? Slavery? Kidnapping? Extortion? Murder? What would you call the wholesale corruption of Fable Town? I would call it the baseless accusation of a desperate sheriff. How are you certain this isn't some conspiracy against me? I'm a well-connected man, well-moneyed. Don't try to play me. It won't work. I'm not trying to control you. I have no need for treachery, Bigby. I do everything right out in the open. But I can understand the confusion. I mean, he's not I'm trying to hide it, so... The trouble all this has caused you. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late, I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you. An unfortunate bit of business? You're gonna tell me right now who killed him? Sheriff. I have complete respect for you and your job. His eye is creeping me not. out. But I simply can't divulge that information. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. I'm already pissed off. You don't want to make it worse. Oh, I killed your I brother. I I'd love a good reason to put a bullet between your eyes after what you did. That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. Georgie killed Faith. And However, Lily. like I said, I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just sit down now. His eye is creepy. Yeah, I killed him, so what? Why'd you do it? Why kill them? 
Does it matter? Look, yes. The fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I don't I'm believe him. I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits. I don't believe I him. I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this. And then you attempt me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. I think I'll be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking ponce. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You can't give a fuck if I'm the one who... Who the shit do you think you fuck us around? Get the fuck out of here! Yeah, they're all gonna start turning sheriff, on each other now. But I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? I already told you. I'm taking both of you in, so let's go. This could have gone so well. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Ah, oh, fuck. This bitch again. Oh, I guess she is like regular Bloody Mary. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. <clears throat> okay, am I gonna be able to defend myself here or what? <clears throat> Oh, it's bloody mess. Over here. You're done, Wolf. Come on, we're pretty much done here. Ah, I'd shit. Like it was nice knowing you. No, 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 not today, Satan. Oh, yeah, take it, Tweedle. <sighs> Oh, that's right, fucker. Oh, oh God. Oh. This way. Well, I already killed his brother, so it's just a matter of time. Beast. 
Oh my god, he's in Xbox mode. He's in X Games mode. Shit. Fuck! What was that? Uh, what do you think? Fucking dead. Gone it. Are you sure? Do it. Oh, you done fucked up now, Aaron. Eh, Ron. He's not moving. Keep going. All nonchalant in my clothes. Oh, something's on the ground. Holy shit. He's bleeding out, man. I smashed all their windows. Hang on. I need a minute. Okay. How did this happen, Georgie? Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. Oh, it won't be your fault. Can you stand up? <clears throat> it's okay. Take your time. Slowly. <clears throat> oh, it's no fucking use. No way I'm walking out of here. Here. Uh Hmm. <laughs> yeah, he gonna die. Shit. Hello, Bigby. I hoped you'd come to your senses. <laughs> oh. Crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look at him. He's dying. You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man murdered- Of course it does. Girls, so it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking. Mean... Ah, you're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too. You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? I did what I had to. You can't fucking blame me for that. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Ooh. Look, Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us. And as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. <laughs> so he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him. And I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. You're still the one who pulled the trigger. Nobody held your hand and made you go through with it. Fine. Believe what you want. I can tell you've made up your mind. Doesn't matter if it's fucking true or not. Go ahead and kill me then. But it won't bring back Lily your faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. 
It must be so easy being you. Just come oh, in yeah, here it's and a real fucking for all this shit. Jolly Job's good time. Right. George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. Oh, oh, oh. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if Free and Lily meant she had to die... Do you still think I had a fucking choice? Wait, how is she involved in all this? This is the original. The girl with the ribbon. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. I trusted you. Wait, those were your ribbons? You're in on this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand. Nobody was supposed to die. Of course she does, but she's taking advantage of them. Place. So it, it was just a stupid she idea. She cares about herself. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. But you were using everybody else. And the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... <clears throat> if you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her, then. What are you doing? Break the spell. We'll find another way. She she doesn't have to die. Maybe the witches can... Don't talk can... about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean... Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Vivian, wait. I... Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. I have to forget what I've done to them. What I took away from them. I look at Nerissa and I hate myself. Vivian. I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian. Don't! Oh. Oh. Goodbye, Vivian! Georgie. No! Well, she is. Fuck! No, 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 no! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Just... Jesus. Vivian! I didn't fucking mean it! I was just... <sighs> oh! Well, that was dramatic. Oh, fuck! Get up. Get up! Don't think so, Bigby. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, all right? He's gonna have it worse. Don't worry. Good. Old foundry by the river. All right. Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. Hm. You wanna finish There's me no off? There's no loyalty. Now? Or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Rip my limbs off one by one. That's what you wanna do, right? It's not who I am. Sure it's not. No more games, all right. 
We both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. I'm not killing him. He did this to himself. What? You're just gonna leave me here. I can't do it, Georgie. I can't take another life. You selfish bastard. <laughs> Fuck Punishment. You. you fucking killed two people, so you can suffer Piece and think about shit. what you did. Heads are rolling for sure for real. Yeah, she took off a ribbon and her head fell off. So she was the original ribbon girl, apparently, according to the fables. Um <laughs> So she made the other's ribbons out of hers. But now that hers is gone, Nerissa should be good. I just didn't feel like killing him. This is where they've been sending these. I kind of don't remember the ending. I played this, I actually looked it up today. I played it in 2014. So, seven years ago? I can't believe it's been that long. The big bad wolf. Yeah. It's been a while. You used to be something. I still am something, sweetheart. You just don't know. You don't know about me. So she's been, like, following everything. There's the torture wheel. I used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small, shivering bodies would fit. Mm, can I go that way? Yeah, I think I can. Nope, maybe not. Yep, I can. Somebody's been making bullets, silver bullets. Yep, silver bullets. Silver. The big bad wolf. It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Oh, so I gotta fight Mary now. Come find me when you've finished, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> Cut this shit out! Didn't your mother I'm gonna try. manners? Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? Ooh. Oh, come on. Oh, this is going to be a rough one. Is that the best you can do? 
think you would like her. Why would you like her? She's a fucking horrible person. I need Dean and Sam Winchester here to fucking exercise her. We need to break the mirror. God. <laughs> Tristan's got a pain kink. Tristan's got a pain kink confirmed. <laughs> I actually hit that. Why didn't she hit me? <clears throat> oh shit. I didn't. I missed that one. Where are you? Come fight me, Come you know, whore. Face me. There she is. Oh, look at her. She's all fucked up. Okay, now she looks like Bloody Mary. Yeah, there you go, Twisted. There's your new girlfriend. You don't like her? <laughs> Two seconds ago you were all into her, now you don't like her. She reminds me of this spirit on Dead by Daylight. With all the broken glass and everything. Oh, my nose itches. <laughs> oh fuck, look at them all.
go. He's about to Hulk out. Gotta huff and puff and blow your fucking ass away. That's why he's called the Big Bad Wolf. Gotta huff and puff and blow your little ass house down. Come on, Mary, you wanna play, bitch? Come on, girl. Call me the big bad wolf. Yeah, that's right. She thought. She thought. I forgot about that fight. Like I said, I haven't played this since like seven years, so I completely forgot all about it. Like, there's parts of this game I remembered, but I don't really remember a lot about it. Alright, Crooked Man time. He doesn't have any powers, I don't think, so. I think this should be. I don't even have like a scratch Hello, on baby. me. Look at me. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to oh, rip yeah, I do you have apart scratches on right me. now. This gun holds six. I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. I just Snow killed Mary. You think a gun's gonna? To the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. Snow's not here. You're dealing with me now. That may be true, but I'd advise I want to throw him down the witching well. Boss, at least for the time being. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. Done. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. You need to tell me right now. We're not going anywhere until I get some answers from you. If you want answers, you're going to have to cooperate with me. Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's fine. Because you can't from a guy do anything. A you have head. no power. This is just a precaution. I'm sure Other you than understand. silver bullets. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. No, you just get other and people to do your you dirty work. That. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm He's useless but not stupid. Not a killer. Yeah. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will. But it just makes as me like he's in power, which I don't understand. Because other I'm than the fact that maybe he's rich or something, that would be the community. only hold he would have over everybody. I don't know why everybody went to him. I don't mean he has no powers. Like he's, you know, but me. I have. So I can turn into a giant you wolf. If you change your you mind, know, what can he do? Nothing. To do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will so unless he was like, it was about money, and they were, you know, living in lap of luxury or whatever, working for him. I can't imagine what You're they would really see in him. His eye alone would creep me out. Thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. But on whose orders? Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? Mm-hmm. My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in, but you can brighten also, up Also, my little. superpower is that Some I can spot bullshit a mile away. So, shall we get going? Okay, All right, let's, let's go. go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Hey! <laughs> now what? I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> the reason I want to spare him punishment is because follow. I know that the people from Fable Town get to decide on his fate. And I do remember that part of it, which is coming up here shortly. 
and I can sway them one way or another. So I really wanted to throw them down the witch's well. I know. Well. Here I we go. Know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. He's back. <gasps> the crooked man. Thank God. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Yeah, they're not going to spare him. They are, are not going to spare okay? him. And I can sway them one way it's or another. It's been hours. Well, he didn't make it easy. What happened? It doesn't matter. He's here. We got him. We can talk about it later. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that... That I didn't kill him? You no. Know, I'm just glad you made it back in one piece. <sighs> it's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting for? You killed Shut Lily. Up, she was my sister. How could what you? do you have to say for Where yourself? the fuck do you get this off? You think you have the right and to just do this me? to people? You're a fucking crook. This? Oh my god, everybody you shut up. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? See, everybody hates him. Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of As Faith and... As I already and... informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie may have killed them, but you made the call. Do I have to explain the situation to you again? Wait a minute. So you're saying Georgie's the motherfucker who killed my sister? Well, where is he? Yeah, you're gonna bring that shithead in too, He's aren't you? He's dead. Ya? Yeah, sheriff. Where is that rotten scoundrel now? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Georgie paid for what he did. In the end, there was a fight, and he bled out from his wounds. It's over. So he's dead? Mm-hmm. That's what you're saying? Bled out from I his wounds. That's pretty him. much what it means, so dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That doesn't change anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I, I don't... Mr. Georgie Porgy. I let him we bleed out. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> you are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order inciting violence against various members of the Fable Town community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. <laughs> a misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And kidnapping Crane at gunpoint. He went willingly. Yes. Thank you. Now, is there anything you would like to say? <clears throat> First of all, I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily, so you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Second, like hell you did Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. Everyone just shut up for a minute. You wanted a chance to talk? Well, go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The Crooked Man has committed crimes against this government, and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, she if must proven, have got her bloody outfit are enough back to justify death, the upon one again. which your body will be committed to the witching Where realm. it fucking belongs! That's so right. let's get on but with it then! we promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really what? This is about talk? justice. I told you they if don't want him alive. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments, no more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. You have the floor. Thank you, Miss White. You've all met Georgie. I don't have to tell you what kind of person he was. He was a total scoundrel. Lacking in any sort of moral fiber. I mm -hmm. hired him as a favor to his family, you see. A promise kept to a dying mother. Hey, uh, Will, how are you? Are you? Happy New Year's what? Eve. Georgie was working for me, yes. But he was not acting on my behalf when he killed those women. It was his business. And for whatever reason, I'm sure only he could understand, he murdered two of his most faithful employees. 
I had nothing to do with it. Georgie seemed pretty convinced he I'm didn't have good. a say. I'm doing good. We're almost done with this game. He clearly misunderstood my intention. Really? I would never authorize such an act. Any of you actually believe this bullshit? Holly, please. Tell nope. them, Big B. Don't believe it. When you finally showed up at my door last night, wasn't I more than helpful? Yeah, I I've, I've played it before. I was willing to cooperate. Yeah, and your goons attacked me. Did you forget that part? They get a bit carried I played away it back in it's true. 2014 to the end. on my YouTube channel a long it time ago. Protect me. It's such I a great game, though. Them. I wanted to play it again. You and then as Michael uh, about, so nicely you? informed me, You'd do anything. Um, the second you one's going to be coming out. An innocent man. Yeah, right. They don't do it because they want to protect you. You intimidate people. You scare tactics. They're afraid if they don't follow orders, they'll end up dead. Let me explain this to you. My employees are just that, hired help. I see some of them are here among you. They are not my slaves. They are all free to make their own decisions, as Georgie was. What about Lily? She wasn't free. She wasn't given a choice. Do you really think she wanted that any of those girls wanted their lives like that? I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry that your sister asked me for help, and I'm sorry that I decided against my better judgment to give How her was the cowboy stew? Job. Right, and you kept them in debt so they couldn't leave. Yeah, that's what you did to us. How you kept us all you in line. You forget it was not me who put you in that position. You all act like yeah, I'm some these two, kind of tyrant. Beauty and the Beast, they borrowed a bunch of money and they're just trying to like, oh, it's the circumstances. Oh, we have a certain way that we need corners. to live. And I was there to look they shouldn't have borrowed the money. Yes, but wasn't I? You're the fucking problem here, not us. Really? Made tame for your dad. What about Auntie Greenleaf? Her story is not uncommon. She left everything she had back in the homelands. Everything that matters, anyway. With nowhere else to turn, she came to me for help. And what did I do for you? You got my tree back. I got her tree back. And in turn, we used her magic to help poor Fables get glamours. Because I Oh, that her, sucks. I'm she sorry. She was able to make a living. Provide for yeah, herself. I'm actually not going to be streaming tomorrow do? or she Sunday. I'm not going to stream tomorrow because it's a holiday. Um, but I have a bunch of stuff I need to get done what? around the house. I got, I got to finish unpacking. You're going to burn her tree, Snow. Why would you want that? So I'll Don't see you guys Snow. after this stream. I'll see you guys back again Greenleaf Monday at 5:30. Using her magic to help Crane and the Crooked Man. That's why Snow wanted your tree burned. That's not why. It wasn't her fault. You can lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. You hated Crane, and you hated him for wanting to fuck you, and you being too soft to notice what he'd do to get it. It had nothing to do with a crooked man. We've made some mistakes. I've made some mistakes. But believe me, I truly want what's best for this town. And that may not always be clear right away, but I want you all to know that I care deeply about all of you. And so does the sheriff. Yeah, right. I can't promise you perfection. Maybe you haven't noticed, but we've been doing all this to protect you. We're trying to stop people like him. The crooked man's been exploiting you. Exploiting your hope for a better life. You would go to him for help. He took Faith and Lily from us. And while we can never get them back, we can certainly punish who's responsible. Right. See, You're I told you I would sway them. Him, even now. Told but you, you twisted me. silver His tongue, His contamination of this town is over. And those girls will have their justice. Look at them all. Ha ha ha. Down the witching well you go, sir. Very good. Very good. See the you sentiment next year. is surely appreciated, Miss White. But it doesn't disguise the fact that these accusations are completely unfounded. Oh my goodness. The sheriff simply doesn't have a particle of evidence linking me to the- Georgie murders. was working for you. Bigby got a confession that- A confession that... that nobody heard. Now, I'm no barrister, but I think such a statement yeah, would carry more weight right. if Bigby weren't the only one to whom Georgie spoke. Especially given Bigby's history. He's what are not. What you talking about? You won't be able to talk your way out of this, crooked man. What do you mean there's Nerissa's no Nerissa's ribbon should be broken now. Maybe, maybe he's... I mean, this doesn't feel right, how we're doing this. 
I just Of need. course it's right. This man tormented all of you for profit. Georgie Let killed him. Let me just them. make sure I understand you. You're trying to say that I'm responsible for what Georgie did because he was working for me at the time, yes? Yes. Of course. Where are you going with this? Well, by that logic, Miss White should be on trial for Tweedledum's murder, since you know Bigby works for her. That's... He killed a man. For fuck's sake, killing someone who's trying to kill you is hardly... They were there to retrieve Crane. You didn't need to escalate things. They shot me with them. a shotgun! And who sent those two freaks anyway? Bigby and I have already discussed his behavior that night. We're handling it internally. Where have I heard that before? How about the way he treated poor Tweedle D when he was in your custody? He was beaten to mashed apples while under your watch. Under my watch? Maybe he's right. Did you think we'd all just let that go? Snow had nothing to do with it. We all thought she was dead. Besides, Crane was still deputy mayor when that happened. Right before you decided to kidnap him. It was for his own protection. Yeah, he won't oh, be surviving much longer. Dear. Crane was in charge. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. That's enough. So, you won't answer for your employees' behavior, but I must perish for This mine. is completely different. I we did all... not order those two girls dead. It simply never happened. Georgie killed Faith and Lily. End of story. They want to scapegoat me for their own tangled ends, but they refuse to answer for their own this crimes. This is right. Oh, please. This isn't the point. We'll deal with them after we deal with you. Everyone just shut the fuck up. I mean, a certain level of privilege should be afforded to them. This is how it's always yes. been. See, this is exactly to what I'm speaking. We lashed our ropes to this diseased world. And ever since, which one of us has been there for you? Who filled your lives with the promise of more? Who was there? Oh, yeah, he is. Because he's trying to talk his way out of it. Towers. He thinks he's going to... They're going to go back to his side, and then they're going to come back to my side. Stupid to command your they're own just destiny. dummies. Without me, who will pay your rent when they're you're easily on the verge swayed. of eviction? Who will dare challenge their brutality when it leaks to our mm -hmm. dear citizens? That's his power. Who will protect He makes people feel vulnerable and that they need him. Who will be the... Big B! Miss there White! There she is! There's my saving grace right there. Excuse me. I, yeah. I wanted to make sure I had the chance to say something. Why don't you take a moment to catch your breath? What's wife? she doing here? I'd like to... I, I need to say something. We're kind of in the middle of something. She has something to say and we're gonna listen. Go right ahead. You probably don't remember me. I don't know why I was... Afraid to come My here. Dear, there we go. Just shut up. You enslaved us for years. Let us hear stories about what you do. Told us we would lose everything if we stepped just one toe out of line. And we couldn't say a word about it because of these damn ribbons. <laughs> but you know what? Now it's my turn to talk. How are you? I found Vivian's body. Did you kill her? Did Told he? Told you. Sheriff, this is highly irregular. Vivian killed herself back at the pudding and pie. I'm sorry, um, oh, I don't think Nerissa. I Nerissa! My name is Nerissa. It's okay, my dear. It's going to be just... He ordered them dead. This fucker. Faith and Lily... That's a lie! I was in the goddamn room when he did it! Uh -huh. Faith and Lily are dead because of you! And this just confirms it. He made Georgie do it. I was winning the crowd. Him. Georgie would have never done anything without his say so. Ever. You're going to take the word of a stupid. At least five other girls will back me up on Shatter, this. We all there? heard you say it. Did you now? Looks like we found our evidence. She saw it firsthand. He's guilty. Good enough for me. Me too. So that's it, right? Calm down the witching well. Nah, that's Stupid. too fucking easy for a crook like that. What do you mean? He's gotta pay for what he did. Listen to yourselves! You're all rats, fleeing from one sinking ship to He's the He's finished. Next. So quick to latch onto whatever will keep your miserable lives afloat. This is how you want to repay all I've done for you. What, you take two people's lives away and now you want mercy? You're done talking, crooked man. You had your chance. Hi, Cheddar. What are you doing? 
Well done. Then. You coming up? Oh, don't climb up my leg. Now please. for your sentence. We don't have to become murderers. What are you talking about? He's guilty. I know that, but we don't have to kill anybody. We can imprison hey, hey, him. Hey, don't you bite Lock on my him pad. Up forever. Hey, Somewhere he can never hurt. You the fucking me. Apple Chargers, Stop. man. How can we be sure he won't escape? I can help. We'll use magic. That's I assure not good you, enough. there will be more if he isn't hasn't stopped. Been enough I don't care. So we get rid of him. We get him out of here. We can send him away. Everyone, listen up. Clearly, we're having trouble agreeing on a suitable punishment, so I think this we- This is going nowhere. Someone needs to make a decision. We should have a vote. Make it democratic. Do you really think that's going to work? Yes, I do. He's right. Nobody can agree on anything. What about Bigby? Yeah. What about well, him? Well, is endless. He's he was right. appointed. He's the only official He's gonna fall representative, for the rest of his, really. For all he eternity. He should be the judge. That makes sense to me. I guess it does. Okay. Fine. Are you sure? This isn't how it's- It's what the people want, Miss White. Okay, Mr. Wolf, it's your call. It's no one. Just do what you think is right. Yes, Sheriff. Throw him down the well. Everyone, I'm- Not this way! No, I'm not. No, I won't. <laughs> Fuck that dirty bitch. For Lily and Faith. Yes. Take it. I Another took his money one already. Of us to a race from the books. His and the pawn shop guy and Crane. I gave some of it to the frog, to Mr. Toad, or Toad, whatever his name is. Yeah. Hey, Sheriff. Oh, it's Flycatcher. Are you gonna come see the truck off? We're leaving for the farm in a few. Thought you might want to. I don't know. I'll be down in a minute. Okay. Great. This fucking line. No. Hey, Jack. Oh, uh, Mr. Wolf? Flycatcher left his keys. Is everything okay? You look- I'm- I'm sorry, Sheriff. I have to take care of this. Mm-hmm. We'll talk later, okay? Good morning, Miss White. Ah, fucker. Late. Oh, yeah? That's, that'll be cool. I'm really looking forward to it now that the- I know the second one's coming out. Someone's gonna see you, Colin. <laughs> Fucking Colin. Yeah, she is. I don't know what Bigby sees in her. She's just like a, she's got a big stick up her ass. Oh, Garland! Jesus! We only have like five minutes. Hey, carry me for fuck's sake! I don't give a shit! Yeah. You forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Holy I thought he got. Sheriff. I gave him money to get a glamour. Nice fucking day. Oh, shit! Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, 
I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. Yeah, I she really food. is. <laughs> you know, he was up She's crying heartless. all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so if you could bring it to her. Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that one the best. It's a willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. We're about ready to head out. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. Don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No, I'm, uh, some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves. So you wouldn't know, would you? We're all set. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Bye, TJ. Goodbye, TJ. Hey, Big B. Yes, Cheddar, I know. Where's your friend, Colin? Where's a fucking pig? I don't know. He, uh... Must have run off. Bullshit. <laughs> Toad, you lied to me constantly, so I don't feel guilty at all. I gave you money to get a glamour, and you fucking didn't do it. Saying so. goodbye? Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it seems like I should be able to... It's okay. I get it. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. What is it? She lied. It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith... Lily and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. But then, Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, mm -hmm. I... I had no choice. You have to understand. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Larissa, what did you do? I freaked out, okay? I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. Georgie didn't do mercy. You know that. He could have been reasoned with. I was counting on that. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> Here. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. He had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? 
So you think that makes it okay to lie? I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't gonna let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, after Faith, I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. <gasps> Bitch. Mm -hmm. I walked her over here. Why would you do that? I couldn't think of any other way to get your attention. You could have so just you, come talk to me. You started all this. I just pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked mm. man was counting on. Kind of knocked on my door instead of leaving when a head suffer, on my doorstep. We do it in silence. I know, right? And the world it's in her prison likes wallet. It we just fade like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. It's going to be different now. I promise. Things like that won't happen anymore. Not while I'm around. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but they need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other and look out for us. I just... I go out there and I do my job. I put my life on the line. I get shot at. I do what has to be done for them. But at the end of the day, I'm still the bad guy. I know. But they'll come around. You'll see. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you, none of this would have happened. You listened when no one else would. You protected your friends no matter the cost. And you brought justice to this town, finally. Because you brought the Crooked Man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given She's this talking a lot reason. of smack. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew- I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Especially not in my giant wolf form, where I killed Bloody Mary. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. That's what Faith said to him. I need right? to tell you I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Like it's it. a glamour. Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the little Did mermaid. Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're she looking for. She was Faith. For. Yep, Kaiser Soze. Let her go. It's done. So. Nerissa was really Faith. In case you guys didn't know that. She glamoured herself to look like Nerissa. Or to look like, you know, whoever. And put somebody I'll else's... I'll see you around. Wolf. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Nightbot's a little finicky. That game was awesome. That's, like I said, the second time I played it through. And I love it every time I play it. So, um, that was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will not be, again, I will not be streaming tomorrow or Sunday. Um, I will be back Monday at 530. Uh, I'm thinking I might play Twin Mirror, but I also got the Marvel Avengers game from Xbox. So I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. So if you guys, um, have a choice or a preference, just pop it in the Discord. And if you're not on the Discord, I will drop the link for the discord if you want to join it um i hope you guys have a great new year's eve have a happy new year and i'll see you guys monday 5 30 bye